Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica and today I want to talk about this special Augustine is Better cream. Uh, I got it in a Call of Beauty advent calendar and it was part of the reason to buy that advent calendar because everybody is hyping this up and I was like, okay, I need to test it out. But I won't put that much money on a cream, so I just got this 15 milliliter size one. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot and it actually helps to boost my YouTube algorithm so more, more people can see my videos. Now let's go back to the cream. I got the rich cream in my advent calendar and let me tell you the prices. 15 milliliter one, the one that I got was 79 euro and 30 milliliter one, so bigger size is 155 euro and 50 milliliter one is 240 euro for a moisturizer, for a cream. But they say, you know, it's the only cream that you will ever need. And then I'm like, okay, but then why, why is there essence? Why is there Augustinus Better Serum? Why is there um, eye cream? Why is there body cream? Why is there the entire line when you only need this rich cream? Of course, it's all about a story and so is with Augustinus Better. I was actually a little bit disappointed by the cream. I expected something different. Okay, let's start with good things because that's gonna be short. So <laughs> the best thing about this cream is the packaging. The packaging is amazing. I mean, it looks luxurious, right? It looks luxurious and it's glass bottle and you just feel like special when you use it. And that's it. That's it with the good part. Uh, now let's go to the ingredient list let me tell you something. There is nothing that any company can add to the cosmetic product to make it so special because everything is regulated. Whatever you put in cosmetics, it's regulated. We have ingredients that we are allowed to put in and ingredients that we're not allowed to put in. And, you know, there are more and more investigation about different ingredients and even more ingredients get like banned from the cosmetics world. So we cannot invent something totally new, okay? Let's go to the ingredient list. The ingredient list is actually long and I like the ingredients. There are some good ingredients inside. Uh, let's go quickly through it. So we have sunflower oil, we have um, argan oil, avocado oil, and then also sisimbrum uh, erios seed oil. I think that's all from oils, but you know, oils work as emollient. They're actually uh, skin softeners, and also some of them have soothing properties. Then we have uh, also squalane is emollient, a really good ingredient that you want to look in for uh, look in a moisturizer if you want a good moisturizer. And then we have glycerin a really great humectant and then is my camera a little bit okay now i think now it's better and then we have uh, pantanol which is a really good humectant and skin soothing ingredient i believe everybody knows this already it's a pro vitamin b5 and then we have zinc pca which is humectant and it also works well with acne and shea butter, which is a really welcoming ingredient in a good moisturizer, especially in the winter. Uh, it's emollient, it regenerates skin, it acts soothing on skin. It has so many antioxidants like vitamin E, uh, vitamin A, F, quercetin, um, epigallocatechin, gallate, the one that's also in green tea. And there's also green tea extract inside that I already mentioned, so antioxidant and soothing. Uh, we have <clears throat> special vitamin E, so antioxidants inside, um, sodium hyaluronate, so the cheapest version of hyaluronic acid. That's what's so interesting for me, like why go so cheap when you will spend, you know, you will put the price of 240 euro and then you put sodium hyaluronate. I would expect like hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid or something like that. And then we have different humectant skin hydrators like glutamine, arginine, uh, alanine. Um, and then there are two 
special peptides at the end at the very end of the list that doesn't mean that they don't work it's just you know it's such a low concentration and um, one is a really rare synthetic peptide called oligopeptide 177 uh, and this one is only in their line so it's actually kind of proprietary thing from Augustinus Better. Uh, I couldn't find any any information on what it does. So it's a special peptide. I don't know what it is, how it works. And then there is palmitoyl 3 peptide 8, which is a really good moisturizing ingredient and also a soothing ingredient. And that's it. So I thought like it's all about that rare peptide that only they have, but they don't tell anything about it. They just they're just mentioning this TFC8, so trigger factor complex that uh, Dr. Augustinus Better had put um, a patent on it. And I dug a little deeper and I'm like, there's no connection here. So they, they're they presenting this as 30 years of research, Augustinus Better, doctor of regenerative, regenerative medicine, and everything and I'm like there has to be some kind of connection and then I see that he actually invented one gel that uh, regenerates skin faster if you have a burn or a scar I mean if you have a burn or a cut you know that it doesn't scar and okay I was like like hey yeah I found the 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 information because there was like adhesive hydrogel and what he did is he put human erythropoietin so a hormone inside this gel and, you know, he patented that. And that's a patent, TFC8. But we don't have this human erythropoietin, God, no, you know, it's cosmetics, in this cream. So it has nothing to do, this gel that he has for wounds has nothing to do with this cream. And then there is a small word that you know it's just somewhere and you don't figure it out right away and this word is inspired okay so this changes everything this patent from dr augustinus batter who only gave the name was um inspiration for this cosmetic line it has nothing to do with it there's nothing special in this cream. This was all, all inspiration and there is only like a really good story behind it. I don't say it's a bad moisturizer. It has some really good ingredients, but the marketing around this is a little bit false because there was no 30 year research in this cream. Um, Augustine is better is having his own research for regenerative medicine for so long, you know? And there is a professor better, I checked everything about him and he has really good studies, but there's nothing, like there's no special ingredient for cosmetics application that would be connected with him. I even read some and there's nothing. Um, so this is only an inspiration. For me, this moisturizer wasn't even good because it wasn't moisturizing enough. I mean, it was for first five minutes, but then I felt like my skin needed some more and my skin is not so dry, you know? And this is the rich cream. There's also a lighter version called the cream. So I would say this is not moisturizing enough. And after a few days, it actually started, my face started to get a little bit irritated. Like when you're first starting retinoid, don't look at my burn. I, I burned my, oh, I'm sorry, but I burned my finger um, on an oven. Uh, and yeah, it's the finger. For me, this cream um, is nothing special and it even irritated my face, so I would never like buy it. I have some really good dupes for you. Um, and this is, first one is Valeda Skin Food, but if you're really sensitive like to essential oils, maybe it's better to use Embryolis. Embryolis cream, I would say, is the closest example of what this cream is and it's 28 times or 27 times uh, less expensive than this cream. And then also if you need a richer version, maybe to, for the night as well, um, there's Heimish Marine Cream, um, really good. It also has, has copper peptide inside and some other peptides. So a really nice dupe as well. 
they say like you 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 see visible results in 27 days but actually your skin um like the epidermis regenerates in circa 27 28 days so it makes sense because your skin cells uh the dead one go off and the new one are on the top so this makes sense right um but everything else is just uh really good marketing and for me it's funny because the name says it all like they should be augustinus gooder <laughs> or better but not augustinus better because they are bad or you know haha -ha, veronica what a great joke <laughs> anyway thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel it really means a lot uh, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.